Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome. Welcome to Elements of Speech 1250, transitioning now into MSCM Intro to Public Speaking 2200. I will be your instructor. I am Dr. William Russell Robinson. I go by Dr. Rob. And I trust that you are having an outstanding start to the brand new summer semester. This is going to be an exciting time. It's going to be an interesting time. It's going to be an accelerated time, to put it mildly. This course is designed to give you the basic package so that you can make public presentations or presentations to your classes throughout the duration of your tenure here at the university. One of the things we want to try to do is make sure that you get off to a good start. So to do that, I want to prepare a nice formal welcome to you all. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and go over some basics. This is the name of the book that we're using, The Public Speaking Playbook. If you can see it, it's right here. I have it on the syllabus. I trust that you have already bought it. If you have not, please do so. This book, you need it in your life. Trust me, it's going to be a very powerful asset on our journey over the next four weeks. Yes, four weeks. We're going to take what we normally do inside of a 12-week semester and condense it into four weeks. So when I say accelerated, I mean accelerated. Some of the things we want to make sure that you understand or take away from this course are one, how to prepare a good presentation, how to speak authoritatively, how to speak with confidence, how to use body language to your best advantage as you make presentations, not just in class, but wherever else you may go. One of the things that we're going to do also in this semester is we're going to do a PowerPoint video or PowerPoint demonstration video on how to do a fitness activity. The fitness activity will be of your choice. First though, you will have your speech of introduction. And what I want to do is a little bit different this time. Uh, we are going to use things that we've done in the past, i.e. make what's called an About Me page. But what I also want to do is design it so that there's some practicality here. So sometime down the line in your professional future, you may actually be called upon to give a keynote address. Or you may be called upon to introduce somebody who is going to deliver the keynote address, and it may be you. So we're going to tailor the speech just a little bit so that it's fun, but you also are able to get some practical hands-on knowledge of what you're going to do. And of course, our final speech, we only have three. That'll be our informative speech, and that's going to be the most intense speech we're going to do. So what I'm going to try to do over the course of the next four weeks is to try to get us prepared so that we're doing work simultaneously building towards that final speech. Now, if you take a look in the syllabus, you'll see that we have a breakdown of how things are done, how you will be evaluated. So, to put it mildly, this is a performance-based class, so I don't like any unnecessary tests. But you will be evaluated on your ability to, one, get things in on time. You will be evaluated on your ability to get things in correctly and how you take criticism, feedback, and instruction. And yes, for every presentation that you do in this course, it is expected that the student provide feedback to fellow peers, constructive feedback, so that we can all walk on this journey together. It's not going to be easy, I'll guarantee you that. In fact, let me go over some of the mis myths and misconceptions about this class. Myth number one, we have students who believe that because this is summer school, this is going to be an easy class. Let me explode that for you now. This class actually is going to be very intense. Remember, we have only four weeks. In previous years, we've had five weeks, so now we've reduced it down by one week. Next, I can turn work in late. That is not possible in this course. I say it on the syllabus, but I also say it in the actual practicality of real life. You really can't turn things in late without penalty, and I personally just don't like to take late work. Late work for me means extra work that I don't have to do. And I have to take that extra time to give to other students. I'm taking time from those other students uh, so that we can get your work in, which was supposed to be in by deadline. So at the end of the day, I try to be as equitable as possible and make sure that we don't take late work. Now, with that said, time management is essential in this course. You have every opportunity to turn anything in early for critique and grade. But if you turn it in late, I'm not going to be able to get it. Now, how is this possible? Well, I have the, uh, the, the windows, I wouldn't say windows, I actually have the assignments timed. So 
if we have something that's due at 5 o'clock and all assignments are due at 5 o'clock, the assignment will close down at 5.05. .05. So you do have a grace period of maybe four minutes to get it in. But understand, after that's in, if the deadline is passed, I can't take it, I won't take it. So please, be mindful of the time that you have. And time management is essential in this course. How you manage your time really is going to be the predictor of your academic success. So we want to make sure that you are really taking advantage of your time in a most studious manner. Other things that we've had to deal with over this time that I've taught this course online. Um, technology. It is imperative that you really become somewhat fluid with the technology. Now, I'm not asking you to become, let's say, a computer wizard or a video technology wizard overnight. That's not going to happen. But we have a speaking studio, and I'm actually going to take some time, and we're going to have a quick tour of the studio and talk to the director of the speaking studio, Ms. Amanda Chasen, over the course of this week or so, so she can go ahead and get you guys acclimated to what they do. You can learn their hours of operation, and they actually have tools that will help you as creating your, your presentation your speeches, all that. Also, now I know that people have already started talking about the notion of audience members. Yes, you are required to have audience members for your final speech, your final speech. So please, read the syllabus thoroughly, because that syllabus actually, it is, it's vital to your success. It also answers quite a few of the questions that you may have. What I try to do over the course of the summer semester is I try to stay in the office for two hours every day, uh, at least Monday through fr Thursday. And I try to get there from 12 to 2 so I can answer emails. I can also answer phone calls, and I will provide a number that you can call me. It's on the syllabus, but I also put it down here somewhere in the lower third. If you can see it down there, the number is going to be 919-530-7108. Uh, Again, that's 919-530-7108. 7108. And my email address, again, we'll use the imaginary line, hopefully it's right down here. It's D, I'm sorry, WR Robin 1, I'm sorry, what that? W Robin 15 at nccu.edu. Again, W Robin 15 at nccu.edu. The other thing that I try to do is respond to the emails as quickly as I can, but understand, I like 24 hours to try to respond to them. So if I don't respond to you within like 24 hours, then feel free to call me on the phone. Uh, if you call me on the phone, if I'm not there, leave a message. I will try to call you back as soon as possible. One of the things I also try to do, I have done, it's been very successful for me, is I will actually take the morning time that I have and respond to emails that I can. They may be short, they may be very short, and in some cases they may even say, let's sit down and have a face-to-face -face about it. In many cases, if we have a face-to-face -face discussion about it, it probably can work itself out. Um, I'm not inflexible on some things, but the deadline I'm very much inflexible on. Um, we want to make sure that you have a great experience here, and that's my goal. But it's also my goal to make sure that you come out of here with a set of skills that are transferable across the disciplines, across the university. And that's what we're going to try to do over the course of the next uh, four weeks together. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take a quick break. And then we're going to do the magic of video production, and I'm going to go ahead and explode or better yet share with you how the course is designed in Blackboard, because the Blackboard shell is, it's very fun. I like what I've been able to do with it. Um, you have to click on certain things to access bits and pieces of the material. But definitely, uh, give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do some video editing magic, and then we're going to come back, and from there, we'll show you how to work with the Blackboard shell. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. There are three things that you need to have to be successful in this class. Uh, actually, four. The first thing, of course, is you're going to need your own YouTube channel, a business safe YouTube channel. Next thing you're going to need is also a Google Plus account. The Google Plus account will allow me to share with you Google Hangout information, and we can have virtual chats on the Google Hangout application. Next, it's also important that you have access to the entire Word, I'm sorry, the entire Microsoft Office package. That will be critical to your success. Uh, we don't use Prezi here, we do use PowerPoint. Um, also, photography skills. We'll talk more about that as we get into other stuff in detail, but I think those are the main things you really need to have. Okay, so give me about a couple of minutes. We're going to fade out, we're gonna come back in, we'll see me at a computer, and then we'll start talking about how to navigate the materials in this course. All right, see you in a few. Okay, welcome back. So where I'm at right now is I'm actually doing a quick 
video of how to navigate bits and pieces of our Blackboard shell. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open up Blackboard and hopefully the computer will cooperate with me and it is. And I'm then going to go to, we'll go to Elements of Speech class 1. And what I'm going to do here is show you how the class is laid up in Blackboard. So as you see, you have to the Le to the left here, you have the menu bar, which many of you should be familiar with if you've used Blackboard before. Of course, you have your announcement section. You also have any other things that are very pertinent. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go into the student view so you can see how to make this work from your perspective. Now that I'm looking at it as a student, it looks a little bit different. I have, you don't see, uh, I don't see the controls that I would normally see because I'm looking at Blackboard, our course shell, as a student. So what I'm going to do here is basically let you see that you have the course dashboard, which is where we are now. Then we also have basic course information, and this information uh, in this section you'll find out basic records of the class, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, syllabus, file, and all that stuff. So here, if you take a look, actually, I want you to come down to where we have weeks one and two. Weeks one and two, you actually will go ahead and see the click use of video aids. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, let's actually go back to basic course information, which is where we are now. And here you should be able to find, yes, a copy of the syllabus, which you can download. The syllabus quiz, which quite a few of you are taking now. And so let's go ahead and figure out, <laughs> let's go ahead and show you in a nutshell how you can do this test. Um, so of course, many of you have already taken it, but let's go ahead and start anyway. So. Question one, five missed postings in this course will have you drop from the class. Let's say that actually is true. And let's see, we go to the next answer, save. All right, so then we go to the next question. All right, then we find out, let's see that, okay. The name of the course, uh, name of the textbook is Public Speaking Playbook Volume 1 and 2, or Edition 2. We're going to say that's correct, but actually, and I was told it was a glitch here, so we're going to actually pick the right answer, which would be here, um, and let's see what happens. I don't know why we have that, but click. The best way to contact Dr. Robinson, believe it or not, is by email, not by text, not by DM, but by email. So let's see what happens here. Go on to the next one. Um, Late work is accepted in this course. Well, we know that that's false. So let's go to the next question. Um, the due dates for the speeches in this course are what? Well, if you have the syllabus, it should be easy. But I'll tell you, and the hint here is kind of everything is done in sixes. So the first speech is going to be June 6th. The next one will be June 16th. And the final one is June 26. Now that answer is true, but let's go ahead and double check it. Um, then we also will see that Blackboard links expire at 5 o'clock. That's false. Well, no, that too is true. So we'll move on to the next one. Dr. Robinson's email address is drrussellrobinson at gmail.com. That's not correct. Drrussellrobinson at aol.com. That's not correct. AOL. No, it's going to be this one. And we'll go to the next one. Uh, you will present three speeches. They will include blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and type them in. You'll have a speech of introduction. If I can spell today. A uh, demonstration speech. And you will have an informative speech. And we'll submit that. Speeches can be graded without outline, PowerPoint, or relevant material. Well, we're going to say the answer to that is true. Actually, that's not right. It's false. Next question. Students in this course are responsible for retaining their own video recording equipment and an audience of how many adult members? I'm going to say six because I believe that's true. Save and submit. Okay, and let's see what happens. So I get scores back. Submitted and okay. And these are the answers. So as you can tell, here's where we are. Five missed postings in this course can get you dropped. Actually, the answer there is four. Are there four? So that's correct. 
Um, the name of the textbook required for this class is what? Um, basically, it's the one we talked about, Public Speaking Playbook. So that's, again, correct there. The best way to contact me is via email. Uh, let's see, that's correct. Late work in this course is accepted. Wrong, late work in this class is not accepted. So we got that one right. Um, let's see, what are the due dates for the assignments in this course? Now, again, I actually provided the correct ones, but I think because here we have the notion of it basically being kind of like um, exact wording, that's a problem. Uh, so we'll fix that. Let's see, number six. Let's see, the links expire at five o'clock. That's true. Dr. Robinson's email address is wrobin15 at nccu.edu. Very good. Um, let's see, and these are the correct speeches, so that's a glitch that we have to work out there. The due dates for the speeches in this course, again, that's, again, a due date glitch. And again, uh, let's see, you cannot turn in stuff without the paperwork, and um, basically, you are responsible for obtaining your own video recording equipment and six adult members. So let's go ahead and get out of this mode and then go back into what else we have to look at. So if you take a look here, the best way to get to the next pieces of material, you'll have to click on to this link where you see the actual mouse. Click onto that, and then you should actually see this clip giving you taking you straight to the tutorial. <laughs> Um, good morning, good afternoon, hi, this as you can see. And so we're going to now go back to the next one as well. Um, the About Me page example that you should see. And there's my About Me page, the Barefoot Professor in his glory. Uh, then we will go back to here. And then we'll go to the next piece, which will be this. You'll see that you have the due date for your About Me page. It is due on June 3rd. You see where to submit, make the submission. So what you'll do is you'll click on text, make your submission. This is where you will actually paste the URL. So you'll put in, let's say, about.me forward slash W uh, Russell Robinson. And that's where you will make your submission and submit it. Then as we move on, we'll cancel that and we'll go back to this. And then we'll actually see speech of introduction file. Let's see, you have a checklist that'll be available to you. So you download the checklist and here it is. Wow, now that didn't supposed to happen. Okay, great. So you have the checklist that came out, which is great. That's what we want. So let's go back to our web page. And then you will actually see where you submit the speech of introduction. It is due Tuesday, June 6th at 5.05 p.m. I gave you five minutes of grace time. And then at the end of this, you also are going to be pointed to an assessment. So you will go here to this assessment. You'll click on the link for the assessment. And this is where you will actually find the form. Click on this. Go to a separate window in your browser. As you go there, click onto this, and you should find the form if it's working right. And there it is. So you will basically find two students in the class. You'll find two students in the class, type in the name appropriately, and then you'll answer these questions. What I'll do is I will give the feedback back to the students anonymously so they can kind of know where they are. Um, that way, I can also know what's going on with you throughout the course of the semester. So that's pretty much how you navigate a typical speech assignment in the class. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and now chop this up, put it all together, and hopefully you guys can watch it. I'll be in the office, and I am in the office. Again, take a look at the syllabus. You'll find out where my office hours are. And we will see you guys very shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.